Hello everyone, this is Slade. I'm going to be taking you through a quick little walkthrough to save a video clip off of your DAO recorder through the Smart PSS software, either on a desktop or a laptop. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find this icon here. It's the Smart PSS software. You can also go down here to your search bar, click it, and type in Smart PSS, and it should pop up, and you can click it to open it. I already have mine open here, and it's going to take you to the main layout, the main menu um, of this software. So for saving a clip, we're going to need to find the playback, which is right here. It's that good old film roll icon here. If we click that, so now we can see the devices we have available to us. So you should see your device here. When you first start up the Smart PSS software, your device may not be fully connected yet. Um, and you may see a little red icon showing you that it's not connected to the internet. Just wait. Um, it could be two minutes even. And that should pop off. If it doesn't, your device is offline and we'll have to troubleshoot from there. But you'll see this here. We have two options we can do. If we just click this box here next to the device, it will select all of the cameras on that device to pull up video from. Um, in this case, if you click this arrow here, it'll bring down a menu and it'll show you the different cameras you have available to look at. So let's say this uh, incident that occurred that I want to save the video from happened at the front door. So I'm going to select the front door camera and then down here you'll find this time selection and if you click this calendar it'll pop up a calendar that allows you to put in the date and the time. So on here all of these days that have the blue dot are days that I have recording available for. So let's say this incident occurred on November 4th, which was a Wednesday. So we'll click that here and we're going to say, well, um, it's also important to note that this time is in military time. So let's say, well, it happened at noon. So I'll put in 12 here. And it happened within two hours, I know, so we'll put 14 here, which is 2 o'clock in normal time. And then you'll come down here and you'll click search. And what that does is it goes through your recorder and retrieves that video for that day and time that you had selected. So this should pop up here. You'll see a timeline down here showing you um, the time that you had pulled up. If you hit play, the video should start playing of the day you selected. So there we have the 4th and at noon. And if you double click this, it'll, oh, and we see uh, Karen leaving here. <laughs> uh, if you double click it, it will full screen the image so you can see the entire video. Now, uh, some recorders, depending on how your recorder is set up, what recorder you have, um, some cameras trigger on motion and they know when motion occurred. If that happened in this timeline down here at the bottom, it won't be all green. You'll see random dashes of yellow. And that yellow is where the camera had detected some motion. So that can help when searching through video to find that one piece that you need. Now over here as well, down here, we have the 1x, that's next to the play and the stop button. Uh, if you click that 1x, a little scroller appears. I can move that up to let's say 4x, and now I'm actually watching the recorded video in four times speed. Now my computer here <laughs> is having a little trouble trying to handle all of that data. But it is playing in four times speed. It's just kind of a little choppy right now. So I'll go ahead and pause this. So let's say I found 
the clip that I need. And the clip that I need, well, it happened at 1220. So we'll go to 1220 here. All right, well, how do I get this clip so that I can save it? If you go down here in this left-hand corner and you find this time clip button, it looks like a little pair of scissors. If you click that, boom, it'll automatically open up one hour of recording time to save a clip of. You don't have to save that one hour. If you'd like to, you can. But let's say, well, I know mine happened only for a minute, so I really only need a minute of video. I know it started at 1220, which we can see this red starter here saying, okay, I started at 1220. If I go down here to the end, you'll see another red line. Another possibility is that you click that time and you'll see the first one, but you won't see that second one because your view of this timeline is too small. So you're seeing like 1220 here and 1230 over here. And so you can't see the end of that hour. If you hover your mouse over this timeline, you can actually roll your mouse wheel out or in and you can change how much of that timeline you're seeing. Much like editing a video if you've ever edited a video. So I'm gonna scroll out here just to kind of give you an example. So now my 1220 here, 1430 here, this hour clip gets smaller and smaller the further I go out because I'm just looking at more time from the recording. So I'm gonna scroll back in here to be a little more precise and I'm gonna click and drag this ending red dash and I'm gonna move it over to where I want my video clip to end. So we're gonna say this ended uh, just like a minute after it had started. Once you got it to where you want it to be, you can just let go and it will set that new time clip time clip parameter. Now, once you have your actual clip uh, actually isolated, you can go over here and you'll click this time clip again. And when you clip, when you click the time clip again, aha, now it knows that there is a clip that you'd like to save and it opens up this export setup dialog box. The path is where it's going to save that file. So in my instance, I'm just going to put it on my desktop because I'll be able to find it easily. Then you come to the export format. Now that's just the video format that it's going to save this clip in. So you have these different options here. Um, really, most of the time, you're going to either do ASF, MP4, or original format. Uh, I believe ASF is American Standard Format, I could be wrong on that. MP4 is your general uh, format for most videos. An original format is the format that it automatically recorded to straight onto the recorder. What original format is mostly used for um, is if you're going to turn it over to the police or insurance, they want to see that in original format so that they know that you didn't tamper with the video, you didn't edit it in any way. It is straight how it was off of the recorder. That gives them that information. For this instance, I'm just gonna save this for myself. So I'm gonna do the MP4. Uh, it'll tell you your free space you have available here. All I have to do is click OK now. It'll say that the camera is still playing back and that it will have to stop playing in order to save the clip. So I'm going to click OK. And now you see that it is saving that video clip. It gives me the start time, the end time I chose, the overall size of the file, and the status bar is going to show you how much it has actually exported so far. Now I could pause this. I could just delete this. Um, or I could open the folder where it's going to save at. So I'm going to let this go ahead and go through and just kind of finish up on its status here. 
I will tell you while this is doing this, over here on your stream type, you're going to want to make sure it's on the main stream. That main stream is going to give you the best quality possible. It's the quality that it was actually recorded in. And then you have record type. This goes back to uh, how your recorder is configured or what recorder you have. Your record types can be motion, so if I selected motion and then I search that same time, it's going to go through and search for all the times that it saw motion and then present me with those clips of video. For now I just did all recordings so I can just see everything that was recorded. taken a little bit longer than I wanted, but that's okay. I'm saving some high quality video, so it's going to take a little more time than you would probably think it will. Alright, so it went through. Down here a prompt will show up, and it's just letting you know that that export was finished. Now that I have that export finished, I can go up here, I can close that box. I can close out of Smart PSS if I would like to, but for now I'm just going to go up here to playback and I'm going to just hit that X and that'll close that playback tab and now I'm back at the main menu. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to minimize the software. And I can go over here and here is my saved video because I changed it to my desktop so it's saved to my desktop. And if I click on this, I can now view that video that I had saved, and I can see everything that was going on. All right, I hope that helped you. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and either email me or leave a comment down below, and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Yeah.